marks for the Maroon Shred. Professional fight record of 18 fights, 12 victories, 4 defeats, and 2 draws. <laughs> Representing the Philippines! Give a big warm welcome to KJ! Carlos Costa and Chris Sanyade. Your referee in charge of the action is also Chris Sanyade. Okay, now we are back here, folks, for the Super Featherweight fight schedule for six rounds. KJ Natu Flag from the Philippines with 12 wins, four losses, and two draws on his record. Taking on Thailand's Jensak Potsuri with five wins, four losses, zero draws. We are scheduled for six rounds, 130 pounds. So KJ in the black and red shorts, taking on Thailand's Jensak in the blue and gold shorts. Round number one on the way. And already both fighters just very calmly in the center of the ring, jockeying for position, trying to set their pawns up, trying to take central ring, and a great leaping jab attempted by KJ. KJ just flicking that jab out, hitting the guard of Jensak, and he attempts a big looping left hook as well already. And it's a great move to use is using your jab and then disguising the jab as a left hook in the process. It gets around the guard. It lands clean. A great left hook to the body landed by KJ. Jensek looks a little bit too calm for my liking. Needs to pick up the pace ever so slightly, committing to the shots, not allowing himself to take any rounds off against someone like KJ. KJ is coming out strong. He's coming out firing. KJ really flicking that jab out and really extending the jab. Takes a few short on the gloves by Jensek. And a big left hook upstairs, followed up by a right downstairs. KJ definitely the aggressor in this fight so far, but Jensak gets a few shots through the guard. And you can see KJ now starting to put the pieces together. He puts his back against the ropes. And you can see Jensak went for a very interesting clinch style there. Back into the action they go. Halfway through round number one already. KJ backing his opponent up with a nice jab. And the jab doesn't have to land to be effective, and that's what KJ is doing. He's just flicking the jab out, keeping his opponent where he wants him, but almost just trying to find where his opponent is. A big jumping left uppercut. And I'd like to see KJ not try some of these fancy moves and just stick to some of the more basic punches as well. Just stick behind that jab, and a nice jab gets through. A good another jab gets through as well, knocks the chin back of Jensak. And Jensak does not look like someone who enjoys taking that shot. That's the interesting thing about boxing. Some people get hit with a shot and they enjoy it and it makes them better. Some people are definitely timid, intimidated by it. And that's what we're seeing right now with Jensak. KJ has landed some big shots already and back in the clinch they go. It almost looks like Jensak has got a Muay Thai style background. He's got a very interesting clinch technique. And also in the first round of Muay Thai, it tends to be a little bit more slow pace to get information on your opponent. <coughs> KJ still just flicking that jab out. Sends a left hook upstairs as well. 20 seconds to go of round number one. Left hook downstairs. KJ backs him up with a right hand and a left, and it knocks him back. Is KJ going to try and finish this round strong? The referee looked like... He's about to jump in as soon as he can. And that is the bell for round number one. And I think Jensak was moments away from being stopped by the referee there. KJ landing some big shots. And here we see that corkscrew jab. And a corkscrew jab is almost a jab with an uppercut in the same style punch. And it was a beautifully timed shot straight through the middle right on the chin and knocks the head back of Jensak. KJ definitely controlling the pace of this fight so far. And that is definitely a round to KJ on my unofficial scorecard. Jensak just needs to be busier. He needs to try something. He can't just commit to these very nonchalant punches where he's not really throwing any power behind him. 
He's got to start stiffening up the jab. He's got to set his feet and really believe in some right hands. And that is the bell for seconds out. We're going into the next round. Round number two, scheduled for six in this super featherweight fight. The Philippines taking on Thailand. KJ in the black with a right hand to the body. Jensak goes to the canvas and the referee's waving it off. The second round and it is all over. And that might have been the third punch of that round. What a beautifully timed right hand landed by the man from the Philippines. Let's see an action replay. Hopefully the camera's got it. He backs him up with a jab. Jab downstairs. And here it is. That right hand to the solar plexus. What a beautiful shot. And that was the shot that KJ was clearly setting up from the beginning. Jabbing his way through and then jabs upstairs, left hook and then a right hand to the solar plex. Let's go to Ali McCurney. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at just 13 seconds into round number two, your winner, by technical knockout, goes to the red corner. Give it up for 